welcome back to my channel so today well tonight actually because it's like 10 30 at night i'm filming this while jasmine is in bed i'm going to be showing you what i'm doing for jasmine's december box i haven't done one for her before because i didn't read and actually understand it um but this year she's super into christmas so i thought i'd do a little december box i chose to do a december box rather than a christmas eve box just because i wanted her to be able to use the things like through december rather than kind of having them on Christmas Eve when, you know, kind of Christmas is going to be over in a couple of days. Um, so the first couple of things I'll show you, I think I'm playing bargains. So this is the basket that I am going to use as her December box. I couldn't afford the snowballs because I thought it was too cute to like leave in the cupboard. So I'm just using it for decoration now. Although this is covered in my hair because she's been throwing these things at me for so long. Um, but what will happen is the naughty elf will come into the house and he will leave footprints with these elf footprints all the way up to this basket. Snowballs will be all over the floor because of course he's a naughty elf and he will have filled this with goodies from Santa. So this basket was 3 99 and then um, this little like elf footprint stencil was 49p. If you do want any of these, they're only like, not that old, they're like fuzzy socks. Um, they were in a tool of 20 for 3 99 I think it was. And then also from Home Bargains, I just picked up this little sippy cup, which she loves. Um, well, not necessarily this one, because she hasn't seen it, but she loves sippy cups. So um, she's got a Halloween one. She had one for her birthday. So I just figured that a Christmas one would be a hit. This comes in a Santa design or an elf design. And this was 199 and then I also picked her up from the, a little Paw Patrol section box. This year I'm not doing a chocolate advent calendar, but she's had a um, Disney one from my mom. So like a big storybook one. And every day from the 1st to the 24th of December, she will open up a little tiny Disney book. So I just thought I'd put her in some chocolate. And then she's also got this little set of decorations to paint, which was under £2. So there's four in here, there is uh, a bauble, a Santa, a penny and a snowman and then the pots of paint and a little brush. So that's something for us to do. And then I just popped in to the inn and grabbed a couple of things. So one was this chocolate J. Obviously her name's Jasmine so an initial. Uh, I thought it was cute and it's just a pound. And then I did buy her these but she's burned them this morning so she's got into them. This is a pack of 12 candy canes for a pound. It's the Sweet Shop collection. So there's 12 of cubes, teardrop, rosy apple, and chocolate lime, rather than like your standard peppermint ones. So I'm just going to put a few of these um, in the December box for her. And then the rest of it I got from a place called Pen Shop. It's not Poundland, um, it's Pen Shop, which is online in a completely different store. But I will leave that link in the description box below for you to check out. So a couple things I got her from there was, she loves stickers, so she's got her two packs of these stickers, there's a hundred on a sheet and obviously festive, so she's got two hundred stickers, these were a pound each. And then I also picked her up this snow flow for a pound, I have no idea what it is, I guess it's some sort of egg timer that looks like snow, but this is the sort of stuff that she loves, anything just, it sort of looks like a waste of money, she loves don't all kids. So I thought that we could pretend that um, the Alpha brought some snow from the North Pole with him. She's probably going to open this and tip it over me at some point. But And then got her a colouring mug. This is just a Santa mug and there's a gingerbread man and a, a Christmas tree and that on it. And then all this stuff to colour it in. So I thought that was really cute. I'm sure I was going to show it to you backwards. It's late. Alright, it's late. Um, so this was a pound. I thought that was really cute. And then this is my favourite thing. This was four pounds, and it's a call your own Santa like little push cushion. Um, so they had this in an elf design, a Santa design. I got the Santa to go with the Santa mug. Um, and then at the back, it actually tells you how to wash this once you've um, coloured it in. So that would be cute. And I thought it'd be cute to write like the date on the back, like the year that she made it, and then maybe this is something that she can keep when she's older. You're going too fast. 
And then I got her this activity bag, which was a poem, which was a snowman, which I thought doesn't get more festive than that. So as you see on the back, it's got uh, some colouring sheets, some um, paints, sticker sheets, crayons, and then like a little snowman figure. So that was a poem. I thought that was just cute. And again, just finding things for her to do, keep her occupied on the count down for Santa coming. And then I also picked her up this colouring book, which I thought was really cute because the pages are actually foil. So I just thought it was something just kind of festive and just a little bit, I don't know, different for her to do. And they had tons of colouring books in there and all sorts of like festive designs, even like, I think there's like dinosaur festive ones and being a dinosaurs could be festive. I've never met one, maybe they can, I'm not judging. And then I picked up a couple of books one I seem to have lost, hang on. So these two books first of all, so this one is Oh Last Night Before Christmas and this one is Ho 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 for Santa. These were one pound each and I thought every night we have two stories before bed so these, she'd have more if she could but I limited to two and um, I thought these would be cute like just to read through December. And then I also picked her up these Mr. Men books. Now these have got stickers on the side, they were three for six pounds, but I only paid a pound for each of these. So this one is 12 Days of Christmas, and this one is A Christmas Carol. So just traditional stories, but with like a little Mr. Men twist. And she's recently discovered Mr. Men. So I'm hoping that she'll find these really fun. And then the last thing was just some socks. So these are cotton socks. These were a pound each. We've got Santa Claus, Rudolph, and then just some penguins and snowflakes. Um, they actually look like they're going to be a little big for her feet, but she steals my socks, so she'll wear them. And then Santa's also going to leave some mint for Cookie Dough in there. It is a um, Santa tree, but I haven't brought it in with me because she's sitting literally right here, just out the view of the camera. So if I end up bringing it in, she ends up eating it. Every other haul I've done, I've bought her a treat. She ends up eating the treat, like the moment the haul's done. Before the ring lights packed away, before I've had a cup of tea, she's eating that treat. So I was like, no, like, we're just going to hide it. So she'll have a little treat, of course, from Rudolph. Um, and then Santa's kindly packed me some cute fuzzy socks with a penguin on that were also a pound. They have tons of socks, like some kind of cheeky adult socks. They have kids' socks, festive ones. Some aren't so festive, like a unicorn on. You know the Santa hat, all that kind of thing. So it's definitely worth checking out. I will leave it in the description box below because it is a really cool website. You do have to spend a minimum of thirty pounds, however, to be able to order from there. Um, but it's easy to do. I mean, they have a ton of year brand stuff. Like even for kids' toys, they have Shopkins, they have Disney, um, Frozen. I'm trying to think off the top of my head, but that's all I can think of. Um, but they've got a ton of food and clean products, they do a lot of vegan products as well. So I'll leave that for you guys to check out. Um, if there's anything, obviously I'm not giving her this stuff just yet, so if there's anything you could think of that I could add to make it a little bit more special, um, please let me know in the comments below. I'm also going to be doing Elf on the Shelf, which I've never done before. So I'm looking for ideas, if anyone has any, leave those in the comments below and I'll be eternally grateful. Um, this is going to be short and quick tonight because I'm absolutely exhausted and I want to try and go to sleep before she wakes up for milk or another story or just to tell me the song beautiful, which is nice to hear at 1am, but also not nice to hear at 1am in the morning. So thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.